Hey everyone, it's Sharon, and in today's video, I am just going to share with you a few products I've been loving lately. Um, life has been really busy recently, bought a new house, moved in, got a new dog, like lots of things have been going on, so I haven't gotten on here and done a makeup video in quite a while, but I have still been trying out new products, or at least new products that are new to me, um, and so I just picked a few of my favorites, and I wanted to share them with you quickly. Um, some of these are new, some of these are old ones that I've rediscovered from just going and shopping my collection again. So, um, I will start with the new products first. This first one is from Juvia's Place. It is the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3 here. I just saw it at Ulta, um, a few weeks ago because now my Ulta is carrying Juvia's Place, like, in an actual section. Now, um, I really like this one because it's a very pretty champagne-y color, um, but when I swatched it, um, it looks like it's going to be super intense, but actually on the skin, when you kind of blend it out and use a brush, it's just a really pretty sheen, and so I really like that. I like a more subtle highlighter, so this for me is really nice. I'm wearing it today. I'm not sure how it translates on camera, um, but I really, really like that highlighter. Um, the next item is a powder, and that is from Revolution Beauty, um, the Bake and Block Powder in the Banana Shade. Um, so this was rec recommended to me by Lisa Stevens. Um, she has a YouTube channel. I've recently started watching her, and I really enjoy her videos. Um, and she recommended this powder for, like, setting under the eyes. Um, and I've been really enjoying it so far, so I think it's really nice, and I will probably continue to use it until it's all gone. <laughs> Um, okay, now next is another recommendation by Lisa Stevens, um, and it is a mascara combo that I have been in love with. It is fantastic. I have never used, um, a mascara primer before, but she recommended this combo, and I went out and got it, and I am in love. The first is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, um, mascara, so it's just the white, primer in their kind of normal um, wand shape. And like I said, I've never used this before, never really thought like it would work. It works. This is wonderful. I love it. Now paired with that, I have been using the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I feel like I saw no one talk about this. Honestly, when I first saw it come out in drugstores, I thought it looked super gimmicky. The, the bottle is weird. The wand bends. Like why? It just didn't look like something I was interested in trying. And then Lisa Stevens recommended it and I saw her use it and in combination with the primer mascara. And I was like, I have to have that. It looks great. It has a bristle rubber wand. Um, but this in combination with that, just like it makes your lashes look really full and lengthen. And I love that this mascara and no one talks about it. So if you are curious, I would highly recommend you try it. I think it's really nice. Um, and actually the way the wand bends does make sense because it helps you get in those lower lashes or really wiggle it up close. It, it really does make sense and I understand why it is that way now. Um, so this will probably be one that will stay in my collection um, on a heavy rotation because I really like this. I've been using pretty much only these two for the last month and I just, I love them. Okay, now the last two items are um, products that I have just recently rediscovered using. One of them, I didn't realize I had it. I found it in an old makeup bag um, that I haven't used for a few months, and so I was happy to find it, and that is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I know I've talked about a lot of other um, liquid liners on my channel, and I really prefer um, a liner that has a bristle brush just like this. So I have used the... Um, I've used the Physician's Formula Liner. I've used, um, oh gosh, what's the other one I love? I, Joa, I love that one too. Um, and I, I love this, but it's just so expensive. So that's why I've looked for other alternatives recently, but I found this, fell back in love with it. It really is the best. Um, once I started using this again, I was like, oh man, those other two, like they're good, but they're just not as good as this. But I hate that this is $20. Um, I do find that it lasts a fairly long time, um, especially if you don't do like winged liner every day, but anytime I'm doing my makeup, I pretty much wear a winged liner, but I love this. Recently rediscovered it. Oldie but a goodie. Love it. And then last is a foundation. It is a L'Oreal. Oh, that was my dog. She just ate dinner and she gagged, so that's nice. Um, anyways, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. 
I was thinking about this the other day and I thought I should get that out again. I love this stuff and it's so good. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I have it in the shade um, Warm W12 Porcelain slash Light Ivory. Um, it's the lightest of the warm shades that you can pick up. I love this. This is a foundation I've repurchased over and over and over again, and it's just fantastic. I just think it's so great. So if you like um, a very dewy foundation, but that does give you a lot of coverage, I wouldn't say this is fully full coverage, but it's definitely a heavier coverage than, than others. Um, for being a luminous foundation, it's really nice. Um, love this recently rediscovered it, have been wearing it like crazy. All right, that's all I have for you today. I wanted to keep this one short and sweet and just show you what I've been loving lately. If you've tried any of these products and love them too, let me know that down below. Um, or if you've recently discovered any new products that you think I should try, let me know as well. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.